If there's any product where you find ours more expensive, please let me know. Nothing can stop us. This show brought to you by Zambia Association of Manufacturers. called Awareness Campaign for Proudly Zambian. My name is Mumbi Kalimba, your host. The aim of the show, obviously made possible by Zambia Association of Manufacturers, is to promote and market Zambian products. Are you proud to be Zambian? Are you the kind that supports locally manufactured products? Well, today our focus is on Trade King's group of companies. We get to find out about a lot of products that Trade King's group of companies produce. We'll be taking a tour and our guide for this particular show, on this particular show, is Dr. Bright Chunga, who is the head of corporate and public affairs here at Trade King's group of companies. Keep watching and obviously, you will learn one or two things on why you should be buying Zambian locally produced products. Made possible by Zambia Association of Manufacturers. Let's go and check out some of the quality products that Red Kings is producing. Be proud to be Zambian. Follow me. Awareness campaign for Proudly Zambian made possible by Zambia Association of Manufacturers. We are promoting and encouraging you Zambians to be proud of locally produced products. Go out there in the shops and buy proudly Zambian produced products. I'm here with um, Dr. Bright Chunga, who is the head of corporate and public affairs here at Trade Kings Group of Companies. Good afternoon and uh, welcome to this uh, special, uh, special interview. Good afternoon, thank you. Okay, so if you can just give us a brief uh, uh, explanation of what is happening in the background. Right. Uh, in the background, we are erecting uh, a drying tower. Mm -hmm. For those of you that have actually gone to the supermarkets and uh, grocery shops, you've seen the Boom Plus powder. Mm -hmm. uh, this is where we will actually be uh, producing it. And uh, the process involves a, what's called a drying tower. This is the, the thing that they are erecting up here is a drying tower. Mm -hmm. It dries the paste and produces the powder, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, we are very, very proud of. And uh, uh, this has, uh, the establishment of this has, has, has cost us about 30 million United States dollars, a part of the expansion uh, program mm -hmm. that we have. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. this tower uh, will be producing about 300,000 metric tons of that powder, and that's a lot of powder. That, that is uh, within uh, what, what, what period? We are starting a per year, uh, 300,000 metric tons per year. Per year. But mm -hmm. we're starting production, say, between uh, any time between April and June. I'll put it safely at uh, June, mm -hmm. and we'll be supplying the entire sub-region, meaning the Sadak uh, uh, group of countries, mm -hmm. plus the Great Lakes in, the, um, East, in mm -hmm. East Africa. But we start production, say, about June uh, this year.
So we are here, we're still here at Trade King's group of companies and we are going through some of the plants here at the, uh, at the company with uh, Dr. Chunga, who is the uh, head of corporate and public affairs. So can you just explain to us uh, what this is all about and this, where we are now? This, this is a hard soaps area. Uh, hard soaps, uh, those soaps that uh, essentially uh, most of our people use either for washing or um, for, for bathing. You know, like uh, if you look at that range there, it's, um, this, that's the Yabo range. This is a carbolic, a carbolic soap. Uh, good for, for children, sportsmen, and all those. Yeah. So this is the carbolic um, soap. It's a hard soap. These others are for uh, washing soap. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, hand washing. Like the extra. Uh, what, what you call the hard soap section. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Most of our rural um, uh, folk mm -hmm. wash with their hands. Mm -hmm. They don't use washing machines. Uh, so they use these soaps. This is the laundry the boom laundry bar. There's an extra laundry bar at the other end. So they thought this, this uh, is largely preferred uh, by the uh, rural community. For the communities that don't use um, the, 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 the yeah. bags and uh, powder. And, and also our rural community uses this hard soap for dual purposes. Mm. They can use it for their Present. bathing and also for their washing. washing. So this is a dual purpose for rural, rural folks. So it's actually preferable. It's not uh, as expensive as maybe the other, the paste and the powder. So they would rather use, uh, use this. This is part of our expansion range. This is another uh, product called Diamond. Again, in the same washing, uh, hand wash uh, uh, range. But I'll show you the, I'll give you a few samples uh, at the end which you can take of the new soap so that you can have a look at them uh, or probably use them. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> the expansion here has, has actually come in three, with the introduction of three new Romeo range. We have um, a range of Romeo bathing soap which have um, a active ingredients like neem, like aloe vera, like basil for, uh, for herbal purposes, for cleaning the, the skin. I'll, I'll show you a few samples of some of the new, these are the three uh, new products that we have uh, added to our existing uh, uh, Romeo range. Okay. Yeah. So this, this is bathing soap. Yeah, this is bathing soap but medicated. Uh, this one has uh, what's called neem. Mm. Neem is a very popular uh, extract produced from the neem tree, uh, which, which is sort of uh, used for fighting skin infection. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular one has uh, aloe, aloe vera and basil. Mm. It's also a, a health a medicated uh, soap. Uh -huh. This particular one is uh, eucalyptus. Yeah. So the basic extracts in the range that we've introduced are those that you use basically herbs. Okay. Yeah. So, so these are, it is safe to say these are herbal soaps? They are herbal soaps, medicated soaps. Herbal medicated soaps. We are now at the sweetest uh, place here at Dread King's uh, group of companies. This is a section where sweets are made. I'm still with uh, Dr. Brad Chunga, the uh, head of uh, corporate and public affairs here at Dread King's uh, group of companies. Tell us about this uh, section we are in now. Okay. The, as you can see, this other part where all these workers are is an expansion of our sweet um, uh, production line. We've invested uh, quite a bit of uh, money in, in trying to expand 
uh, our sweet production and meet the, the regional challenge. There's, there's a very, very, very big market uh, for sweets in the Sadak area and the Great Lakes area, which we've been unable to, to meet on our existing uh, capacity. We employ at the moment about 1,500 people, oh. but we, with the addition of 4,500 that we may add on, we'll probably get to a 2,000 uh, <coughs> range in terms of um, Employ employment. employment uh, yeah. So we are still in the sweet section here at uh, Trade King's group of uh, companies, and I'm still with uh, Dr. Chunga, who is the uh, head of uh, corporate and public affairs here at Trade King's. Tell us about uh, this room we are in now. This, this is our bubblegum um, production line. So these are ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let me try one. <laughs> <laughs> it's really interesting to see um, how products are actually manufactured, especially bubblegum. Yeah. And obviously we'll be talking, um, getting more details on uh, where you get the, uh, the chemicals that you mix up together to form uh, or yeah. to come up with the uh, end product as a bubblegum okay. much later when we sit down and uh, okay. extensively talk about some and of the products. This is the bubblegum range mm -hmm. and um, with different, different lines. There's, there's those, um, the, the big, uh, big bubble, uh -huh. uh, boom boom, and yeah. uh, all sorts of, uh, uh, the ones you've been seeing on TV mm -hmm. are basically all done here. Okay. But the, the point I was trying to make is that apart from making the products here, we also make the packaging here. Also All the, the packaging. packaging is done here. Okay. So we do the graphics mm -hmm. for the packaging on it, the different types and different colors here. Okay. So we, the only thing that we import is basically the gum. <laughs> In other words, everything is done Local. Okay, great. program made possible by Zambia Association for Manufacturers. Proudly Zambian is what we are promoting. Promoting Zambian products and obviously marketing them and encouraging you out there to support locally produced programs. This is called Awareness Campaign for Proudly Zambian. Like I told you earlier, we'll be having an extensive uh, talk on what products Trade Kings, Trade Kings group of companies uh, specializes in. We've taken a tour, you've seen the things or the products that Trade Kings uh, are producing and obviously uh, uh, providing to the Zambian market and uh, beyond the Zambian borders. I am with uh, Dr. Bright Chunga, who is the head of corporate and public affairs here at Trade Kings Group of Companies. Great having us uh, in your office, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, the question that kept on ringing uh, 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 on my mind when we were taking the tour is why this diverse, uh, diversification okay. of course i've seen you've extensively diversified a lot of people um would relate trade kings the name trade kings to uh, to boom detergent paste yes. but now we have other uh, sweets that have been produced uh, and uh, we do also understand that uh, very shortly uh, biscuits will also be part of the many products that trade kings is, is producing why the diversification uh, it makes business sense. Actually, mm -hmm. as, as of now, you know, when we originally started, we started off to fill a gap. Mm -hmm. uh, we call ourselves trade kings because we were traders. We started mm -hmm. off to import uh, soaps, mm -hmm. um, uh, cooking oil from Botswana to mm -hmm. sell. Mm -hmm. But when our um, uh, multinationals uh, decided that Zambia wasn't um, good enough for them, that mm -hmm. the economy wasn't uh, safe, they moved to Zimbabwe uh, and uh, they left 
a technically competent uh, pool of, of workers mm -hmm. uh, who, who had been producing soaps for, for many, many years. And mm -hmm. all we did was bring this team together and create a nucleus of uh, what, what, what uh, Trade Kings is now. Mm -hmm. Initially, we just produced one product, mm -hmm. boom, detergent paste. Mm -hmm. And as, as we went on, uh, we found that, in fact, it was possible for us mm -hmm. to diversify into all the products that mm -hmm. we've been importing in here. So we went into bathing soaps, mm -hmm. bathing soaps moved into sweets. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, the demand keeps um, um, uh, sort of uh, uh, developing. Mm -hmm. And as at now, we have become a very, very socially conscious uh, outfit. We are a group of people who are reacting to uh, not only the economic needs of our people, but we think that uh, we, our, the lives of our people can be bettered by us producing quality products, by us creating employment, by us making it possible for people to have a decent life. Employment creation is at the center of all that we are currently mm -hmm. doing. Okay. What would call uh, Boom Detergent Paste, obviously, as the mother of uh, the product of Trade, yes. uh, of, of trade yes. Kings? Let, let's, let's talk about that. We, we start with the quality as we start now uh, running through some of the, uh, some of the products that uh, Trade Kings group of companies well, produce. Well, Boom was the only product we had. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everything that we had today, mm -hmm. uh, we owe to, to Boom. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've had uh, a lot of imitations, we've had uh, a lot of uh, factories in Matero in particular mm -hmm. uh, trying to, to replicate what we've, uh, we've actually been producing. Mm -hmm. But uh, our consistency, our uh, public uh, uh, education mm -hmm. in uh, creating awareness of what the, our product looks like, what our product feels like and uh, what it looks like mm -hmm. is, is what has that in the boom. Okay, the, the the packaging. We move to the uh, to 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 the uh, sweets and uh, bubblegum bubblegum section, which yes. is the sweetest yes. uh, uh, section here <laughs> at, the, at, the trade, flag, at, yeah. at trade at trade kings. Uh, firstly, before we talk about the actual products, let's talk about where you get the packaging for 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 these. Okay, all the packaging is done here. We make our own uh, packaging. You do the designing. We and design it here mm -hmm. with our IT department, mm -hmm. and we produce the the the, 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 the wrappers, mm -hmm. uh, which we actually uh, then use. Mm -hmm. uh, it we it's very important for us to do that because it actually assures us that we are in control of the, the quality of the wrappers, mm -hmm. uh, because all these. Um, uh, problems of counterfeiting and whatever it is, is for people to try and reproduce uh, mm -hmm. the, the kind of wrapping material mm -hmm. uh, that, that uh, is uh, replicable. Mm -hmm. So the people in Matero, because uh, I know Matero does quite a few, is that, that we can't reproduce the things that we actually... Mm -hmm. So our first line of defense mm -hmm. is that you can actually see from the packaging mm -hmm. and say, no, this is not what we normally get from trade kings and actually that on its own will deter you from buying a, a counterfeit product product. Okay. The, the sweets and, 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 and the bubble gums. We look at the quality, and if at all you are exporting these to neighboring countries, how are they uh, being accepted or received by by these countries where you are, you are you're exporting to? And obviously, we cannot leave out the local market as well. No. Has the local market uh, embraced and accepted the sweets and the bubble gums that uh, Trade Kings yeah. is producing? Yeah. Uh, actually, the, the evidence to how the local market has, has responded to our sweet production. Mm -hmm. Uh, is on the streets. If you go anywhere in town in Lusaka here, all the little streets that you see uh, on the on the ground, from those uh, street uh, vendors and from all the timbers are from here. That is an indication that um, uh, it's been uh, accepted. 
we have had um, we have had uh, problems uh, with people trying to imitate those sweets uh, to sell them to Angola and uh, and actually Congo. Uh, about two months ago, the, uh, three, four months ago, I think, uh -huh. uh, we, we, the, the counterfeit uh, unit at the police uh -huh. uh, impounded uh, several uh, containers uh -huh. of sweets in the Sulawesi and Winilunga. And these sweets were, were being aimed at the Congolese uh, market, the Angolan market. And so there was imitation coming in from Pakistan. Uh -huh. Now. I, I suppose the greatest uh, accolades we could get is that people are trying to imitate what we're trying to do. Therefore, it must be good. We talk about the, the biscuits. We've not talked about yeah, the biscuits. No, the biscuits, um, we haven't talked about the biscuits, but I did indicate uh, that we are trying to go into the biscuit market to meet a, 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 a demand. We have observed that uh, the biscuits that are on the market at the moment are beyond the reach of most of our people. So we want to create um, affordable, uh, make affordable biscuits. But with a, a better food value than the ones that are currently on the market. Can, yes. All right. Let, let's let's look at. Um, the, uh, the what, what your vision for for Trade Kings in the next uh, in the next five years? Where do you see Trade Kings group of companies? Uh, our hope and prayer is is that uh, in the next few years uh, we can create several thousand more jobs. We can create an environment where our people will, will actually stand up and look tall and they face the world knowing that they are from Zambia. We, we hope and pray that our little contribution, with whatever it will be, will better the people of Zambia first. All right, so uh, this, this program obviously designed by the uh, by Zambia uh, Association of Manufacturers with the sole papers, primary papers to market and promote uh, Zambian products. We do have a lot of Zambians that are watching right now. What is your message to Zambians in relation to being proud of locally produced products? We think that um, it's important for each and every uh, Zambian that stands up out there to know that the first line of investment must be in ourselves. We must invest in ourselves. There is a reason why all the successful economies have started with that kind of rule. The Chinese, for instance, do three things uh, very well. They've invested in themselves, first and foremost. They've created a capacity in their people to buy what it is they produce. All those are at home, mm -hmm. investing in yourselves, investing in your capacity to be able to buy, are at home. The third bit is to, ex uh, to uh, export the excess that they have. All that creates a basis for you and I to develop. So development must start with ourselves. We must sweep our little rooms, our little corners, each and everyone here at home. When all of us sweep our little corners, at the end of the day, we will sweep through the whole room. It is important for you and I to invest in ourselves. I will, I will repeat that. We must invest in ourselves first. So when you're going to spend your kwacha or whatever it is, it's important to ask yourself, by buying this uh, sweet, by buying this soap, am I investing in myself? Fantastic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awareness campaign for Proudly Zambia, made possible by Zambia Association of Manufacturers. Dr. Bright uh, Chunga, it's great. Uh, it's been great having uh, having you on the show. It's been a pleasure uh, to have me. And uh, well, I will wish you all the very best in your expansion programs. And I do believe that uh, 
uh, Trade Kings has uh, a bright future. We want to see the products reaching as far as North Africa. Please think of yourself as part of Trade Kings. This uh, is your company. So if we succeed, I'm, I'm proudly Zambian. You succeed. <laughs> I go so to the much. shops. I want to get uh, the detergent paste. I get uh, the Trade Kings detergent paste Boom. without a shadow of a doubt. Boom. <laughs> Thank you so much. For My name is uh, Mumbi Kalimba. Until next time, bye bye. I love Zambia. And I show it.